Welcome. This video is going to serve as a tutorial for Film Titles Volume 2. I'm going to walk you through the steps on how to install the fonts, install into the editing app of your choice, and kind of walk you through some of the steps and processes and effects that are included with this pack. But before diving into that, I just want to touch on like who this product is for. Uh, if you're like me, I've always struggled with title design. You know, I don't really have a graphic design background. So in terms of choosing the right font, the spacing and sort of finding that aesthetic that really gives your titles an elevated feel, that is always something I've personally struggled with. So we at Tropicolor actually partnered with really talented graphic designers that built out a robust pack of titles that can work with just about any major editing software. So yeah, quick disclaimer on the fonts. The fonts that we use for this title pack came from a website called defont.com and in the downloads folder you're going to see a folder that says fonts and you can just click through and download each one. Uh, it is worth mentioning though that these fonts we did not create or using them from this website defont.com and from these creators I do believe they offer a personal usage on these fonts. Uh, but if you are going to use them for larger client work or paid commercial work, uh, you may want to explore getting like a licensing fee from some of these creators. Uh, but otherwise, feel free to pause this video, download the fonts and resume once you have all the fonts installed and we can kind of take it from there. One last note as well, the install for all of our title packs are identical. So Film Titles Volume 1, Film Titles Volume 2, Cinematic Titles, Iconic Movie Titles, every pack we offer, the processes to install are identical. So instead of recording like four of the same tutorial, I recorded one tutorial that walks you through the step-by-step -step processes for Film Titles Volume 1. So in this tutorial, if you're kind of hearing me and like seeing me show you how to install Film Titles Volume 1, just kind of copy and switch it out for whatever title title pack you have because like I said the steps are identical so essentially just don't want you to think you're watching the wrong tutorial uh, just follow the steps uh, no matter what pack you have. So here is the visual glossary depending on what editing app you are using uh, you may want to skip ahead to one of these time codes so feel free to do so now otherwise we're going to jump right in. All right let's get started. So I think it's worth mentioning, I'm using a MacBook Pro, but this tutorial is identical in terms of its processes and steps for Mac and PC. Uh, so to get started, depending on which title pack you bought, maybe it's Film Titles Volume 1, Volume 2, Cinematic Titles, Iconic Movie Titles, this step process for Premiere Pro is identical for all these products. So for this tutorial, I'm going to do Film Titles, but like I said, it's the same for all the title packs we offer. Um, so when you download this product off of our website, uh, after purchasing, you're going to see a zip file, a .zip. Um, so simply double click on that, it's going to unzip the file and it should create a folder. So you can see right here. And when you double click on that folder, you're going to see it's broken down into basically the different apps that this film titles works within or whatever title pack you're using. And that's DaVinci, Final Cut, Photoshop, Premiere Pro, and we've got a README with some titles and stuff. But for the sake of this section of the tutorial, this is actually gonna be focusing on Premiere Pro. And the file structure of these is uh, a dot M-O-G-R-T or a mogurt. Um, I will say Premiere Pro is probably the easiest one out of all of the apps that this tutorial is going to cover just because the film titles were built actually within After Effects, which is like a sister application uh, in Adobe. So Premiere Pro, it works very, very seamlessly. So I'm going to open up Premiere Pro real quick. And this is a project I was working on. I've got a shot right here. And yeah, essentially how you want to get started is navigate over to the Essential Graphics tab within Premiere Pro. If you're not seeing this essential graphics where my mouse is hovering, no problem. Just make sure you're in the editing tab so you can see that's highlighted blue here and navigate over to window and make sure you click essential graphics. So for me, since it's open, you're gonna see a little check mark. And if you don't see it, just click on it and it doesn't matter where it is on the screen for the sake of this demonstration, my essential graphics panels is gonna be on this side of the screen. So under browse, I'm going to, there you go. 
You're gonna see actually in the essential graphics, you maybe didn't know this, if you're kind of new to using titles and essential graphics, you're gonna see actually some just already in there. These are actually essential graphics or titles that uh, I think Adobe just ships uh, right off the right off the jump. So yeah, you're gonna see some of these, you know, maybe you've used them, maybe you've not. They're not particularly great, but don't let that confuse you. These are not ours. Uh, we haven't imported them yet. Just letting you know that these do exist. So it's pretty simple. The next step is actually just drag and drop. So I'm gonna actually just for the sake of this, kind of move this over. You kind of need to have both uh, uh, panels open. So I'm going to just drag and click, or if you're on a Mac, you can hit Command A and just drag to where you see the green plus. So you can kind of see it and just let go. So it's actually going to import the film titles. You may not notice anything, like I said, because there's a lot of Premiere Pro essential graphics already in there. So all you gotta do if you want to make it a little easier, just type in film titles, uh, no spaces and enter. So here are the 20 film titles. Like I said, if you're following along and you're using the cinematic titles, iconic movie titles, it's the same process. So if I'm saying film titles, it's just because I'm walking you through with this product, but it works with all of the title packs we offer. So yeah, I guess moving forward, just to kind of show you how this works is you simply drag once they're installed and drag it over your uh, footage, if you will. It's gonna take a moment to import and don't worry about the size either. Um, because obviously this was built with certain parameters and a certain canvas size and your footage might be bigger or smaller. So if it's coming in and it's massive or in this, ca in this case it's small, do not worry. There's two ways you can adjust uh, the size right off the jump. I find it's easy to select the film title. So let me just make this a little bit bigger so you can kind of see. And I'll punch in. So I've got it selected, right? You can see I'm unselected, now I'm selected. So with it selected, I find it's actually pretty helpful to go over to the effects controls and actually take the scale parameter if it is coming up small and scale it to, to taste, right? So I think right there looks good. Like I said, if you're using footage that maybe was like 1080p or smaller, it might be coming in like this, right? So you would just, uh, you know, essentially scale it down to where you feel like it fits. There's no right or wrong answer. I feel like right here works really well for this title. Um, and then the next step is you're gonna to wanna to hover over the essential graphics panel again, and you were in the browse panel. That's where we actually found this and imported them. But if you hover over to uh, edit, which is right next to browse, you're gonna see some parameters that are gonna allow you to basically further manipulate this because these are film titles that are pre-built, but obviously the color, the actually obviously the text in the title all can be changed. So obviously this is just template text. So you may want to change this to, let's just say this is a short film called The Last Road. And then basically all you have to do is kind of click outside of that little box and it should update. There you go. And the header I'm not gonna worry about right now. And maybe I don't really like this letter box. So I'm just gonna uncheck that box. And then I may just move over to the scale back in the effects controls, scale it to taste. And that looks pretty good. I mean, like I said, really just drag, drop and hovering over the edit tab, you can kind of manipulate it to taste. Um, and there is different scale parameters and position parameters in here too. I find it's easier to go over to the effects controls and scale from there because it's gonna scale the whole asset versus this may actually just scale individual assets. There really is no right or wrong way to do this. It's really to your liking. Uh, so yeah, hopefully that was helpful. Premiere Pro, super straightforward to recap. You drag and drop the Mogurts into the essential graphics panel. You go over to browse, find the one you want, go over to edit, tweak the text, and yeah, you should be pretty good. So I want to take a quick moment and walk you through some of the additional effects and parameters that are very unique to Film Titles Volume 2. And these were actually not really shown or highlighted in the initial tutorial included with this product. So yeah, this is just a quick bonus video letting you know that these effects and parameters exist. So yeah, much like you would be editing and using any of our title packs, you know, the browse section of the essential graphics panel is where you're going to find and select the title you want to use. Once that title has been dragged and dropped above your footage, you basically just need to make sure you're selected and clicked on that title graphic and navigate back over to the essential graphics panel and click edit. And edit, very similar to a lot of our title packs, this is where you're gonna manipulate not only the title, the word, the verbiage, you're gonna adjust the spacing, you're gonna adjust you know, the color, all of those parameters pretty much do exist uh, in all of our title packs. What this video is gonna focus on is some of the additional effects that are very unique to this pack. So if you click the down arrow by effects, you're gonna see flicker, 
Shake, Rack Focus, Diffuse Blur, and Filmic Soft. On the Diffuse Blur and Filmic Soft I actually have like sliders to adjust the effect, but the Flicker, Shake, and Rack Focus just have a simple checkbox. You may notice your sequence or timeline is going to go red and your footage might play back kind of laggy or slow. Um, just know that you may need to set an in and out point and render your sequence after you check one of these effects. But definitely, you know, try them out. They're really cool. The flicker, shake and rack focus are simple ways to really kind of spice up and, uh, you know, augment your titles. And my two favorite effects included are the Diffuse Blur and Filmic Soft. You'll notice that these both have a down arrow and this down arrow basically allows you to further manipulate the effect where Flicker, Shake and Rack Focus just had a pretty much on or off switch. These actually have like several sliders and parameters that are gonna allow you to really dial in the effect to taste. Uh, and one of my favorites, though it's the most subtle, is this Filmic Soft. Uh, once the Filmic Soft effect box is checked, you're gonna have a slider where you can adjust it from like zero to 20. And this one is gonna slightly just give like a filmic like blur to basically your title. Uh, and this is very reminiscent to the way titles looked in like old 80s and 90s movies where they like scanned the film negative and the title actually kind of had like a soft filmic look. Uh, and I feel like title design right now is kind of missing that because titles are just like super crisp, you know, high resolution. So this filmic soft just kind of allows you to like blend your title into your footage a bit and just kind of give it that old film like look. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up this tutorial. I hope this was very helpful for you guys. This is one of our favorite packs from Tropic Color, so we're excited for you guys to you know, dive in and try it out. If you do have any issues or bugs or glitches, don't hesitate, our support team is there to help you. Uh, you can reach our support team at tropicolor at gmail.com. Otherwise, excited for you guys to use this product and yeah, keep creating. So the next part of this tutorial is going to walk you through how to use our title packs from Tropic Color inside of Final Cut Pro. So once you've purchased one of our title packs, for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to be using the film titles, but the processes that I'm about to demonstrate are identical step by step for all of our title packs. So basically once you've purchased, it's going to come in the form of a zip. So once you've downloaded one of our title packs, you're going to see this zip. I have it on my desktop. You may have it on a hard drive or one of your folders. You're just going to double click on it and it should take a moment and open or unzip that folder. So there it is. I'm going to kind of drag it right here. In double clicking on this, you're going to see several folders. Like I said, this tutorial is going to dive into the final cut part of this tutorial. So starting out, you're going to see several folders. And for this part of the tutorial, we are diving into the final cut aspect of it. And final cut basically has a, a, a kind of hierarchy where you see final cut film titles and then the 20 different film titles. And I'm using the, the columns view. I just find that's easier for this tutorial because you can kind of see step by step. Um, but if you're in, you know, icon or list, um, if you want to follow along, so it looks like how it does on the screen for this tutorial, I'm going to be using the columns view. So the next step is opening up Final Cut Pro. I'm gonna open that up real quick and kind of walk you through the next step on how to import these titles into Final Cut Pro. And mind you, I am using Final Cut version 10.6.1. At the date of this tutorial, that is the latest version of Final Cut. I would recommend before doing anything else, if you have Final Cut, update to the latest version and you can do so by clicking on the App Store and going down to updates. And if there is an update available, I recommend doing that now before going much further into this tutorial. So with that being said, assuming you're on the latest version and you've installed all the fonts, if you head over to this purple T, you're gonna actually see some uh, titles that come just stock with Final Cut. Um, you know, nothing, you know, eye-opening, but you know, you're gonna, if you wanted to, they're, they're here. And the next step is getting our Tropic Color film titles or cinematic titles into Final Cut. So for, I feel like the next step to import, it's actually easiest to minimize. So I'm going to go command H and hide this and exit out of this. So I'm going to walk you through the next step, which is importing the film titles or any of our title packs into Final Cut. I find the next step is easiest if you go over to where this Apple icon is and hover over to where it says go and click on home. That's going to boot up this um, sort of screen. And like I said, I'm in the columns view and right now I'm selected on the username for the computer. So for me, my username on this computer is Thomas Taher 10. Yours might be